Hey, welcome back everyone. My name is Sushal Sutish and I am your instructor for this MS700 Teams Administrator Associate Examination course. In this lesson, we're going to learn about Microsoft Teams Authentication. Microsoft 365 includes multiple technologies that provide security and user identity protection. There are multiple tools which are built into Microsoft 365 services. So the administrators can choose how to protect the identity of the users using the platform and applications. Identity mode supported in Teams are cloud identity, synchronized identity, and federated identities. In cloud identity, a user is created and managed in Office 365 and stored in Azure Active Directory. And the password is verified by Azure Active Directory. In the synchronized identity model, the user identity is managed in the the user identity is managed in an on-premises server, and the account and password hashes are synchronized to the cloud. The user enters the same password on-premises as they do in the cloud. And at the sign-in, the password is verifiable by Azure Active Directory. This model uses the Microsoft Azure Active Directory Connect tool. The third one, Federated Identity. In this model, a synchronized identity with the user password is verified by the on-premises identity provider. The password hash does not need to be synchronized to Azure AD and Azure Active Directory Federation Services or AD, ADFS or a third-party identity provider is used to authenticate users against the on-premises Azure Active Directory. Multi-factor authentication. To increase the user's security during the Office 365 sign-in process, Microsoft Teams support Multi-factor authentication or MFA, which is a two-step verification process. With MFA, the user signing in to the Office 365 account after correctly entering the password is required to choose the second option, such as a phone call, text message, an app notification, or their smartphone in order to verify the login. There are two supported authentication methods which differ from one another by identity model, cloud only and hybrid setup. In the cloud only model, you can use phone call, text messages, mobile app notification and mobile app verification code. In the hybrid setup, which is a synchronized or federated model offers, these are the following second factor options which is MFA for Office 365, Azure MFA module or ADFS integrated, or physical or virtual smart card, which is again ADFS integrated as well. Modern authentication is a process which provides the Teams application with verification that you have already entered your credentials, your work email and password on some other app in Office 365. There are two options. One is Windows user scenario and Apple Mac user scenario. When you are signed in to other Office 365 apps through your Office 365 Enterprise account and you start Microsoft Teams, you're going to be taken directly to the app. No need to enter the password. If an Apple Mac computer user tries to start Teams, the computer will not be able to use your credentials from your Office 365 Enterprise account or from any other application of Office 365 application. The user will be requested for MFA. Then when the user enters the credentials, he will not request sign in again. At that point, whenever the user is working on the same computer, the Microsoft client will automatically start. In order to sign out of Microsoft Teams, the user can click the profile picture, which can be found at the upper right corner of the application. 
Now that we have learned about the Teams authentication mode, in the next demonstration, we are going to learn about how to configure conditional access and MFA for Microsoft Teams. So we'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.